The warning signs have been there for years. A dramatic rise in ocean temperature is blamed in part for killing off as much as 35 percent of the world's coral reefs. Scientists point out that marine life has had the luxury of evolving slowly, very slowly, over thousands and thousands of years. But recently, just a tick of the evolutionary clock, that changed. In the course of 200 years, we've completely changed the foundation that they live on. And that is really a profound uh, uh, unbalancing of the world that marine life lives in. Sarah Cooley heads the Ocean Acidification Program at the Ocean Conservancy. A spike in ocean temperatures is blamed for thin, brittle shells in oysters and all other shellfish. Then there is this. We've known for a long time that the ocean is really taking up a lot of heat. Warmer waters around the globe are blamed for supercharging hurricanes and typhoons. From Florida to the heart of Asia, proving devastating and costly to coastal regions. A cold Washington, D.C. day is a good time to highlight what's going on in the world's oceans. Scientists say that oceans are able to absorb about 90 percent of the excess heat from carbon dioxide and other greenhouse gases. Warming atmosphere is also leading to melting along the polar ice caps. Warmer water also expands, and that too is leading to a rise in sea levels. These are Adelie penguins in the Antarctic. Warming oceans are triggering changing weather patterns. For example, rain in parts of the Antarctic. Penguins can handle severe cold, but not rain. Their feathers are insulated against snow, but their feathers aren't waterproof. So they got wet when it rained, and then they got hypothermia. And I'll tell you, the images of penguin colonies where penguins were coated in ice were heartbreaking. Sean Calebs, CGTN in Washington.